We've been following these sharks for almost 25 years. The electronic tags allow us to follow where the sharks go. They also allow us to, to know when they arrive at our coast. As we're using modern technology of ocean observations, buoys, electronic tags, and we're building a surveillance system in our neighborhood where we can actually pick up the animals as they swim by the buoys. And an acoustic tag will send an underwater signal that's detected by the buoy. It goes up to an Iridium satellite and immediately down to our iPhone where we can actually keep track of which sharks are swimming by. This is the best feeling of the year being back in shark season. It's October, so the weather's still good. The sharks are just coming in. We're optimistic that we're gonna have a, a hot spot at all the locations this year. Here in Central California, they tend to go to discrete sites. And year after year, we've been studying sharks at Año Nuevo, Tamales Point, the Farallons. And we've had a long record of history of who's showing up. We've got the receivers recording which individuals come where. And what we know is certain individual white sharks like to go to Año and some like to go to the Farallons. And then some switch back and forth. What we're able to do is get from our photo ID, our acoustic reception, and our hours of observation a trend of what the size of the population is here in the Central California region, and we're trying to establish a baseline that we can keep track of uh, for the rest of time. And what we hope to do is deploy new technology that allows us to surveil the animals out in the open sea. We know that these sharks go out to the cafe, but it seems like no other populations go out there. Why would you expend so much energy to get so far out there, it's an uncertain thing to migrate that distance. So it must be important, and if, if, it's, if it's gone or unprotected, or if it becomes a place where they're vulnerable, it's difficult to say what could happen, but it probably wouldn't be good. The tags that we're putting out today are satellite tags, and they're basically onboard computers that we attach to the back of the sharks as they swim by. And the idea is that over the next six months, these tags will record the, the depth that the sharks are in, the temperature of the water, and also the location. And in six months from now, when we're out in the White Shark Cafe, those tags are gonna pop off and give us a precise location of where those animals are or where those animals were. That way we have some targets of spots to go to that we know white sharks have been or white sharks are currently there. So hopefully in the next few months, the sharks will leave the California coast here and start making their way out to the White Shark Cafe. Uh, we'll be there to meet them.